Howdy folks, welcome back to Terry Family Adventures. We're cooking up these pumpkin seeds. I'll show you how it's done. Terry Family Adventures. So, thank you. Step one is you've got to take your bowl full of pumpkin seeds and you throw it in the sink. Thank you. Throw it in the sink. Fill it up with uh, cold water. And then you wait for it to settle for a sec. And you fish the ones that float off of the top. So, don't want to get any of the... Well, I mean, you can get some of this stuff in there, but you want to get out as much as you can. Just throw it there for a sec. So the reason why you want this bowl to be full of water is because the seeds will float and the orange stuff will sink. And it makes it easier to just fish all the, the good clean seeds off the top and all the orange stuff will stay in the bottom. And you'll want something to pour, like, I wouldn't use a strainer, but we've got like this little sink strainer thing that we'll use to uh, keep the orange stuff out of our drains. And, I mean, you don't want to just throw away a, a tub full of water, that'd be silly. That's what your sink's for. If we had some sort of, like, strainers, if we knew where the, the strainer spoon was, I'd just use that. By movie magic, he has a strainer spoon. Right? After rinsing off your seeds, you're going to want to add some, you're going to want to put them in a pot. You're going to want to fill the pot with water. You're going to want to get your uh, teaspoon measure out. And you're going to add two teaspoons for every, for every one and a half cups of seeds that you've, that you're cooking. And so we've got about four and a half ish cups here. And so we're going to add six tablespoons or teaspoons, two tablespoons. When you get to the boiling step, you'll want to boil them for about five minutes.
Oh yeah, if you're boiling anything ever and it starts to boil over, blowing on it'll pop most of the bubbles. Having successfully boiled our uh, seeds here, we're going to want to immediately strain them and then get them as dry as possible. So as part of our getting them as dry as possible, we are going to want to kind of spread them out on a cookie sheet as much as possible so that as many of them can hit the air as possible. And then you'll want to get a, uh, a like a dry towel or a little towelette thing, and you'll want to pat them dry because the drier they are, the better the roasting step goes. Final step before roasting them, which we're honestly just going to do in an oven, is uh, we want to season them. But honestly, I just want salt flavored. Um, I just want salt flavored pumpkin seeds. You can have you can add whatever seasonings you prefer if you like. Uh, like say, onion flavored ones. Throw some onion powder on there. Garlic flavored ones, garlic powder, seasoned salt if you want a slightly fancier flavor. And you can you can throw meat seasoning on them if you want them to taste like beef. <laughs> There's this is very versatile. Do whatever you want. Ha go ham. Have fun. I'm gonna have fun with just basic salt though. So when when you're ready to start baking your pumpkin seeds, you want to spread them out in a single layer. It helps cook them very evenly and crispily without them sticking. Now that our oven's done preheating, we are going to want to uh, cook these at uh, 350 degrees, and we're going to do that for let's let's start with 10 minutes, and uh, we'll go in five minute increments after that, and you just take them out whenever they're done crisping. They'll be golden brown around the edge, and they'll look perfect and ready to eat. Now that our first 10-minute uh, timer has gone off, we're going to check on them. And careful not to stand in front of your oven, you can burn your face. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> I'm gonna say... They don't look done. They're not. They're not done. So we'll throw them in there for another five minutes. Probably get a better distribution on this side while we're at it.
set our timer for five. start our timer. It's been five minutes since our last timer, and we are going to take our pumpkin seeds out and check on them again. Oh, they smell nice. This ones will be done in another five minutes or so. Hmm. Yeah, those are definitely close. Hmm. These ones are too. But uh, I'm going to run these for five more minutes and they'll probably be done by then. Well, that looks like our other, that looks like our next five minute alarm. We're going to check on them. I think, I think this, oops, this batch is ready at least. Well, let's look at the next one. Yeah, uh, these all look pretty done to me. I think we're uh, ready to shut our oven off and start eating them. And we're done. And these are these are pretty delicious. I don't know why people don't make them more often. Thank you for watching. Hope you uh, I hope you had a great time on this journey with me. I appreciate you coming.